viewers, my name is Humble Joseph. I'm here to talk about indecent dressing on campus. But before I project, I want you guys to know more about indecent dressing, just a clue of it. Indecent dressing is the art of exposing your body, either breast or buttocks, to the public. Mostly it's for the females. The females expose their private parts. And this also leads to sexual immoralities. It also leads to rape. That's why it's not good to dress um, indecently on in campus. And also, I've been, I've, um, throughout my times of research uh, in Unicross, I've seen that um, the management and the security have been putting more effort on how they can see to, on how they can see how they can reduce the, the, the rate of indecent dressing in campus. I have a friend there at the gate. I'm going to interview him after now and I'll be going to ask him about how he, he them and the management have been able to, to, to reduce indecent dressing in campus. Thank you. Uh, first and foremost, you need to understand what indecent dressing is about. Indecent dressing, in the, in the more common sense, it's just the art of showcasing uh, yourself as an individual or presenting yourself in an unsuitable manner. Most of the cases you find yourself dressed to impress people or to oppress people. Well, when I say impression or, or oppression, I have my reasons. Impression in the sense that as a girl, you see yourself you are at the stage of poverty. Certainly, you have grown. You have uh, developed hips and uh, other physical uh, features as well. So, you now want to draw attention from members of the opposite sex, such as uh, other guys who are developed and mature as well. And this, in most cases, causes rape, as uh, our uh, honored reporter here has stated. Then, we talk about oppression. Most of the time, it is said that how you are dressed is the way you are dressed. Now, why do I say this? If you are dressed like a public artist, you will be treated as one. If you are dressed as a drug addict, you will be treated as one. So, in conclusion, I don't want to say much. The management has been trying so hard. Right from the gate, they stop certain people who are dressed in an prestigious uh, manner. Most of the time, we send them back home. Either you go and change, or you don't even come to school at all. Because I don't see why your parents will waste money to come to school, and then you would find yourself uh, dressing at the uh, expense of the reason for being in school. You are supposed to appear corporate. Don't forget that you are in school to be trained, to work in your field. Okay, if you are, let's say you are doing law now, are you going to tell me that if you are going for a law case or a lawsuit, you will be dressing as though you are an area boy? No, no, no certainly no, you are going to no, wear no, no. Uh, a suit, a tie, and what have you. If, so, same thing as a journalist. If you are going to interview somebody, you can't afford to be dressing like someone who is going for a jamboree or a party. Same thing as a personnel. As an officer, you have to be very serious in your dressing to avoid any form of uh, misconduct or anything that will make somebody look at you as though you are not serious with life. So I think that is one of the reasons. But now, the steps we have taken, as I have highlighted earlier, we send people away. If you don't follow our conditions, you have to undergo punishment. So that is all. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Mr. Basik.